what is going on? Seriously, what is going on in the world right now? I've just spent most of today zombified. I just don't understand what the hell is going on on this planet, on our little sphere of Earth, in the middle of space. Just what is going on? I find it hard to say what I want to say. I find it hard knowing what I myself am feeling. I know a lot of my friends, family, people, random strangers all over the world are wondering what the bloody hell is going on right now. My name is Iwolf. I'm 35 years old. <sighs> labels. I hate labels. Labels are what... <sighs> they're thrown against everything. They're slapped on everything. You're probably thinking, Oh, it's some weird dude who's lost his hair, got a massive beard. He's going to tell us all what it's all about. I don't know. I'll never know. I'm me. I am me. I'm a unique snowflake that's fallen on this godforsaken planet. I'm part of so many different communities throughout this world. I've got some amazing friends. I've got some amazing family that I've made through these friendships. I don't just take family as being blood relatives or someone you've married in, uh, a family you've married into. I take family as people you trust with your lives. I take family as people who are heartfelt. <sighs> I guess this is where it gets personal. I guess this is where you, you apply the label. I'm a motorcyclist. Yeah, I've, I've only had my licence, what, two years in a couple of months? But I, I'm part of this worldwide phenomenon, this brotherhood, or sisterhood, or this family, I should say of people who enjoy riding um, above a tank of liquid dinosaurs with explosions right between their legs and going uh, however fast as they want to. I don't care if you ride a Harley or if you ride a superbike or a, a, an ADV Tourer or a Vespa or a Piaggio or a scooter. To me, we're all motorcyclists. We're, you know, a Honda C90 even. <laughs> There's people that travel all over the world on anything from 50ccs upwards. I don't care. To me, we're motorcyclists and I, I share that link with you. And I've made some amazing friends through that. And I would say that some of them are family as well. They may not know it, I may not say it, but they, to me, they are. I'm a motorcyclist. Capiche? I own a, a Vauxhall Frontera. It's a 4x4. Uh, my, you might know it as the Isuzu Moo or Rodeo or Amigo. Um, they're throughout the world, you know, through the, the GM groups, so GM, Opel, Vauxhall, Holden, I believe, down in Australia. I'm a 4x4 driver. We drive across the countryside. We enjoy the challenge of driving off-road. I'm a 4x4 driver. I'm a cyclist. I'm a pedestrian. Labels. 
I play the piano. I I used to play the trombone when I was at secondary school. So when I before I was sixteen years old. Still have it. I should pick it up and get playing again. But I'm a musician of music of all genres. Yeah, okay. Some I may not like as much as others. But I'll listen to everything from classical to jazz to metal to dubstep to techno to trance, ja uh, blues, anything, literally anything. I don't care. If I enjoy it, then I enjoy it. It doesn't bother me. <sighs> Labels. You see how hip hop fans and artists are downtrodden because of all the gun violence and all that jazz. And it's like they're still enjoying the music that they enjoy. There's a minority who always spoil it for the majority get back to that. Probably the best label that could be talked about right now is that I'm gay. Yeah, I'm gay. Problem? I'm 35 years old. I'm a gay white male. I'm not even touching race that's not for this conversation. Not that it doesn't matter. Just that there's one thing that I want to say first. I'm gay. Homosexual. Shirtlifter. Uphill gardener. Whatever you want to call me. Queer. A faggot. It wasn't until I met my current partner, my now fiancé, that I'm really happy with. Someone who actually... Someone who believes in me. It wasn't until I met him about three, four years ago. We randomly uh, met up with a friend at a local train station and her mum came to pick her up from the train station and she started having a go at us, having a go at me. She didn't know me. Okay, it was, hot, what, half ten at night? It was a well-lit area, it was a place of safety we were under CCTV cameras. She started laying into me. I don't know what you're doing with my daughter. That fucking hurt. I was about to say, yeah, and you don't know me. I work for one of the most well, for a well-known university throughout the world. Okay. Um. You don't know me. You don't know the fact that I was in St John Ambulance for eight years, so know all about safeguarding, working with children and vulnerable adults, that I've got enhanced CRBs from two or three different uh, organisations. You don't know me. Yet here you were, labelling me as potentially a, not a child molester, because her daughter was uh, 16, I believe, at the time. I guess that is what she would call me. If she, what she insinuated was that I was going to do things with her. <laughs> she, you don't know me. It wasn't until that point that before I could even say anything, my now fiancé just stepped up and said, It's okay, he won't do anything, he's gay. That fucking hit me. That hit me so hard. Most of my life, since... I, I, I can't remember from since when, but from when I was at least 11 or 12, I thought, hang on, I, 
I don't just like girls. I like boys as well. It sounds wrong hearing someone that's this old saying something like that. But when I was 11, 12 years old, that's the thought that came through my head. You know? I've always taken myself to be bi. To be bisexual. I like people of both genders. I guess if... Hmm. <laughs> It's funny, just saying this, I'm, I'm realising how out of date I am. Because there's so many different ways of expressing, expressing what type of genders you do like. When, five, ten years ago, or, well, when I was a lad, there were no other genders other than male and female. I like people, I like the person for who they are. I don't care what bits they've got what bits they haven't got if I love them the person in, inside inside in their heart that's who I love and yeah I, I, I guess this is where it gets even more interesting for me saying all of this is that I'm gay I can love people who are not men, whether naturally or cisgendered, or whether they're transgendered. I love men. I love females as well, but only, I guess, in a plutonic sense, not in a <sighs> the opposite of plutonic truly love them this wasn't meant to be about me this was meant to be about what's happening in the world right now it's just gone 9pm on Sunday the 12th of June 2016 I'm almost shaking. I'm that angry. Because I've... <laughs> the reason I've gone through this whole label thing, the reason why I'm explaining so much about myself, I have grown up sheltered, scared of being me, of showing ex and expressing who I am that I am now so angry at what has happened. Time and time and time again people are being killed for being themselves. Fifty people were killed in a nightclub, being themselves, having fun, enjoying life, not worrying about what was outside, what was going on in the world. They were enjoying life. And now they can't. The reports a few hours ago of somebody going to the LA Pride event with with guns and potentially explosives what the fuck just because you don't agree with something does not mean that you have the right to terminate somebody's life for your belief I'm going to flip this round now. You think it's just some white guy sp spieling trash about uh, being gay? Fine. What about everything that's going on in the world where... Oh, I can't even think. can't even think of examples. This was... I have, I've not said the word religion. 
yet. But it is a label. A label. It doesn't matter what religion you are. But there are people who are so religiously devout. I don't know if that's the cause. Or they are using their religion. Whether that's correct or wrong. I'm not getting in that argument. Because I, don't, I, I can't speak for them. But they are using the label of that religion to say that that gays should be killed, that homosexuals should be shot or stoned to death. There are so many. It, it, it's it's sickening and it's insane. I can't get my head around it. I've been talking for what sixteen minutes and I cannot get my head around it. What the hell is going on? We need to rise up. We need to think differently. We need to feel differently. Everyone who goes to any form of uh, gathering, I can't just say church, church, mosque, um, temple, whatever, wherever, we need to rise up. There is more to living than just saying, oh, this person's bad, they should be killed. We've got so much going for us as a race. And when I say race, I mean human beings. Not just Asians, uh, not just Hispanics, not just white Europeans, Americans, Australians, Chinese. It's not about that. We are all human beings. I have my own beliefs that I'm not going to go into in this video. But I wear around my neck one of two things. This one, the tree of life. Yggdrasil, I believe. Apologies if the pronunciation's off. We all come from one planet. We need to live together. We can disagree all we want. There's nothing wrong with that. But we need to wise up because this is enough. I have had enough. You've probably had enough. Do you want to keep on hearing reports of friends, family, loved ones being shot, being killed? Just for being who they are. Or just for being in the wrong place at the wrong bloody time. It's sickening and it has to stop. Think. Think about what you are doing right now. Think about your consequences. Everything we do or say or don't do or don't say has consequences. If we are to live on this planet for our entire life without hurting others, we need to seriously change our game. Enough! <laughs>